the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name. When I'm busy saying out, I'm also commanding some spirits that are blocking people in their ministries here. And uh, in your business also. In your job also. People who think, where is your ministry? My ministry is in the Sadek. Eh? Sadek countries. I've got 15 countries that have been allocated to me. So I have been, it's postponement after postponement after delay after delay. Do you I'm have tired. a church now? No, I don't have a church, man of God. It's I, just in I the get, Sadek. No, I get invited in churches to preach. I don't have a church of my own. Uh, yes. So you need prayer, say? Yes, I do. Eh? Yes, I do, man of God. Come. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. You are free. You are free. So why are you crying? Huh? The proposal. It's, yes, it's a billion dollars proposal, a billion dollars, I mean dollars, not rent, for months now. I've been praying with her, and then I told her today, we're going to see the man of God, and I pray that the Holy Spirit will locate you. Because the project that she, she's given is supposed to improve the lives of the Africans. So it's a SADC pro, proposal, and it's going to change the lives, it's going to change the, the poverty, uh, economic freedom of Africa. It's in her hands. Oh, Lord, I thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Let the man of God Maybe you can speak for yourself. Can you speak for yourself? Please? Thank you, man of God. Yes. Greetings, church. Uh, I, I've been always uh, trying to, to get myself back into business, asking God for restoration, man of God. Until um, when I went to speak to this company about funding my other project, they just decided out of the blue, no, we are going to put this other project on hold. We want to give you a project for free. You will be allocated 15 countries, which are the 50, 15 countries in the SADC region, where I'm going to be packaging uh, for children in schools, toiletry bags, a, a toiletry bag must involve a soap, roll-on, sanitary towels for children in schools. So they said that they're going to allocate to me $95 million. And then they're going to give me an advance of $35 million. And then it's been postponement after postponement after postponement. And then I was beginning to give up, to think that maybe it's not real, maybe it's not happening. Until a sister of mine said, no, let's go to church today. And we pray that the Holy Spirit will locate you. And then I came in faith, hoping and believing that Holy Spirit will locate me. As the, the, the first group that you called up front, they went in front. The pastor next to me said, let's go let's go and join that group and i said no i'm not joining that group but i'm telling you the people that they are going to call after that group it will be me you can ask i told him i told him he's Which sitting one? there that man okay because i had this belief in my heart that today is my day so is it true what is it that she say you will come to here she said i'll come to here yes so, I have come to you. You are free today. Thank you, Jesus. 
Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I'm free. Thank but, you, men of God. But don't forget, God is God. Sometimes Amen. He leave you. Like I said to you. Amen. Earlier day, I said, sometimes where you're expecting, <laughs> when He wants you to have a purpose in life, where you're expecting to get your purpose, you find it's a place you don't want. You remember that statement? It's true, man of God. Because you didn't want to come here. It's true, man of God. Yeah, my know, brothers and my sisters, they all come here. They've been inviting me for a very long time. No, you know, you, you are the people who think you are very much, you hear from God. <laughs> it's true, man. And you, you want to hear if truly uh, God is with us, is then you will come. And you were making mistake. You delay yourself. Amen. So you are free. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Because, you see, if you might have come all along, this thing was supposed to have been solved a long time ago. Amen. So now you people here, you'll be searching, I want to hear from God. Is he a real man of God? Let me find out. Let me go tell me. I won't go there until God tells me. And Amen. this is a mistake you people are doing. Amen. Now you are coming here. Let's take today, it, won't, it didn't happen. You are still going to have more doubts now of saying, ah, no, it's like I've been wasting time. If this man knows I'm a man of God, I've prayed this prayer. Why he failed to locate me? It's true, man of God. It's true, man of God, because huh? I've, I've, I've been to many churches. That's I've what? never been located. This is my first time here. And look here, I come to you here and I touch you, I end up following you. It's true, man of God. And here you are. If I didn't do this to you here, you are. Yes, I, I, it's true. I don't know what you're going to say. You're going to say many things. It's true, man of God. Because you talk too much. It's true, man of God. It's very true. You talk too much. It's very true. And uh, many people like you are talking too much. You are sitting against God. You don't even know where. Amen. You, you God end up judging me. us in the wrong way. So I've been waiting for you, and you are here. Thank you, Jesus. God bless you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I'm sure you understand what I'm trying to say. Yeah. You see, I'm, I want to close the service. According to me, uh, I've got 45 or 50 minutes I was supposed to have closed this service. But Holy Spirit will always send me to somewhere. somewhere. But look here. Let's take now. I won't locate you. I will pray, pray for you. I go back there. What I'm happy of is to close the service. If God say close, I say thank you, Lord. Even if I pray for two people, I'll say thank you, Lord. But now, always when I want to do this, I have come here, try to pray with people when you are praying. Until I heard that I must touch this lady. She went there, I follow her there. Thank you, Jesus. I follow her there. Thank you. Let's Jesus. take, I didn't follow her, I just touched her and pass. What is he going to say? Because she has been going around uh, in prophetic churches. Yes, it's true. And then now, okay, what she was expecting for them to prophesy, they didn't prophesy. That's why I said, don't go to a prophet's church and you want it your own way. And I said to you that sometimes go, when he wants you to fulfill the purpose, he will send you to a place where you will get that purpose of God, the place you don't want. It's true, man. That is God. your message. I received the message. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. So next time, you must not have this thing of, when I come here, man of God must locate me first. Is then I will know he's a man of God. You are it's insulting true. us. It's true, man. <laughs> you are really insulting yourself also. Can we just pray this prayer we close? Say in the name of Jesus. Ma'am, please introduce yourself to us. My name is Olipa Dube and I am from Hamotla Hamanskral. Can you please tell me what are the obstacles, challenges that you were coming across in life that made you to finally come here in Charis Missionary Church? I've always, um, I'm in business and I was in business before and then my business went down and then for the past eight years, 
since 2000, I have been struggling to come back to business. I've been getting opportunities, but for some reason they never materialized. I've tried many, many times and it has never materialized. Even now, the project that I am having, I was fearing that I'm going to lose it because of what usually happens in my life. And today, when you were with the man of God, when he came back to you, when he was praying for you, he said that it took you time to come here. Can you please tell us what was taking time for you to come here? I have to say, it must have been excuses in my that I, I've, I was always having in my mind and my heart because my family, my brother and his wife and my sister have always been inviting me to come, inviting me to come. And also my mother has been here also, but for some reason I just, I, I could not come. And today finally you are here. You were located by the Holy Ghost through the man of God. Can you please tell me how was the experience? By the grace of God, I was located today, which was the main reason I came here. When I left home, I prayed. I said, God, today you have to locate me through the man of God. Please, that is my prayer because I've been through many churches in South Africa. I've never been <laughs> located. I've never been given a prophecy. I've never been located like it happened today. So when men of God, he, he looked at me many a times, you know, his eyes were on my direction many a times. And in my heart, I just had a feeling that this is my day today. Something that I've always been praying for is eventually going to happen and it happened. And can you please tell me, how did it affect you that, that, that this issue of you trying to search for help all over and not even one prophet would come to you and talk to you about what God is saying about your life? I think what I've always believed in is that um, you get deliverance where, where God has appointed you to get deliverance from. I just, I believe in my heart that this was the place where I was going to get my breakthrough, my business breakthrough. Not, not from all the other places I've been because if that was what God had meant for me, it could have happened a long time ago. So today was the day that was predestined by God before the foundation of the world, I believe. It was, it was meant to be. And tell us what are the other things that the man of God said to you which really touched your heart? What he said to me which really touched my heart was the fact that he said, had he not located me, I would have actually doubted him and um, I think that would have been true because it, 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 it had always brought doubt into my heart but not necessarily doubt towards him, doubt towards many things. I was doubting myself that what is wrong with me, how come I'm not you know located, I've been to several places and and I've never had a prophecy. I've never, you know, I was starting to question God, to ask God, God, do you see me? Do I exist in your eyes? Do you hear me when I pray? What is happening? That was my, my, my greatest cry towards God. But what he said, actually he answered what was in my heart by saying that because yes, it was going to create a lot of doubts also in my heart about, you know, what was the trend, what had been always happening in my life. When he prayed for you at that particular moment, how were you feeling? At that particular moment when he prayed, I just, I felt out of space. I can't really remember what happened. It's, it's like something took over, took over me. And I tried to balance. I, I, I felt weak at my knees. I felt like something was just pulling me to to fall and something that I could not resist and something that I can I can only describe describe as uh, the power of Holy Spirit and finally today by the grace of God God has located you you are free what are the words of encouragement that you can give the viewers out there especially to other people who are still doubting who still who still don't believe that there is that there, there is a, a, a God who can use a, a man of God to answer their problems what can you say to them what I can say is that 
every person's answer in this world lies with God. And the problem or the mistake that I think many of us do, which is the mistake that I also did, is expecting God to answer me in a specific way. God answers in his own way. God knows what we what is good for us more than us. God knows us more than we know ourselves. He knows what's good for us and another thing God's timing is always the best. You know, we can we can plan like the way men of God was preaching today. His message was that God's timing and God's decisions are always the best. Memu, thank you so much for visiting us in Charis Mission Church. I believe that as you are here and God as he heard your prayer, I believe that you shall surely come back to testify what God will be doing in your life. And I believe that you shall surely take the advice of the man of God that you must never forget God when he blesses you in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you and stay blessed. Thank you. Amen. Thank you.